Hello and welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, I will be playing actually a deck in a video that I recorded a few weeks back. Um, and I actually had zero intention of ever posting this video online. Uh, but today, uh, which you'll see in episode 21, I actually played Alberto 1998. And I uh, was looking through my pre-recorded videos, uh, freeing up some space on my hard drive, and I noticed I had this game. Um, <clears throat> so I figured uh, it'll be interesting to play the same player two videos in a row. We see here my opponent has a ton of cards and quite a few wins. And uh, I'm going to be playing Celebi Tornadus Mewtwo. And I will be playing... Actually, this just might be Celebi uh, Tornadus. I believe this was recorded before I even had Mewtwo. Um, or before I had more than one. I'm not really certain because it's old. Um, but anyway, I'm playing with collectors instead of dual ball, and that kind of just shows how dated this sort of is. But I will start with a Smeargle, and that's not the worst start that I can have. Unfortunately, I'm going to be weak to his Terrakians here. So on the next turn, I will probably be dropping because the bad Terrakian... There we go, we get the collector. Because the bad Terrakian uh, does 40 damage, times 2 weakness will be 80 which will put Smeargle out of commission. So I will go ahead and load up my bench. And we can see I'm playing not with... I got a Shaman, but I don't have a Mewtwo. No real excuse for that, but uh, that will come into play later, and that will be the most interesting part of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down a Celebi, and a Tornadus, and another Tornadus. Attach a Grass to Tornadus, and... I'm going to switch into Celebi, and then I'm probably going to undo that because I already laid the grass. And I'm going to undo that. Undo that again. I'm going to switch into Celebi. Then I'm going to Forest Breath onto Tornadus. And I've already used my supporter for the turn, which was Collector, so I'm still wrapping my head around how to use both Forest Breath and, uh, I believe it's called Portrait, Smeargle's ability. So I will undo... Man, what am I doing? Forest Breath onto Tornadus. Now I will use Free Retreat back to Smeargle to see if he's got something in his hand that will let me have access to a double colorless. Look at his hand, notice he has nothing, but I do see a Fanfi and a Krokorak. And all I can do is end my turn. So he will start his turn. We saw he had a Fighting Energy in his hand, so he'll be able to use Terrakion's first move, uh, and with weakness, take out Smeargle, put a Fanfi on the bench, and take me out. So he will take his first prize on his second turn. I will go ahead and promote Celebi again, and I have a handful of nothing. Possibly could have used the catcher on the Fanfi. So now I have a handful of energy and a Juniper, which is not that bad. So I'll go ahead and Forest Breath a Grass onto Tornadus, debating which one. It really doesn't matter, kinda, unless I get End. Put the Double Colorless on Tornadus. Use free retreat and go ahead and do 80 to his active Terrakion or Hurricane. Use Hurricane on his active Terrakion. Drop that grass down to my Tornadus so I'm pretty much have two Tornadus all set up ready to go. Turn two. Um, can't really argue with that despite using Collector instead of Dual Ball. Um, I guess using Collector, I had the Smeargle, so it kind of all made sense. I do like Smeargle. Don't know if there's enough room in any deck to have it be especially strong. So he's going to go ahead and catch her my Celebi, and I assume knock it out with Sacred Sword. And on his third turn, he has taken two prizes, and he does have a rather undeveloped bench, however. So I am in all right shape. I do have a collector to restock myself with a Celebi if I need to. 
Looks like I'm going to put up the other Tornadus. And I will collect her. Looks like I'm going to get a pair of Celebes or a Celebi and a Tornadus. I have enough energy in play at this point where I can drop another Tornadus. So on this turn, I should be able to knock out his Terrakion, and that will leave him fairly fairly dry. He's not going to have a lot but a Fanfi, and the three Pokemon I have in play are all resistant to that. I smartly don't drop a Celebi, because Celebi has 60 HP, and Donphan will be able to knock that out. <clears throat> so it's my opponent's turn, and he's going to need a pretty good turn here to... Uh, he needs to drop a basic or he loses, quite frankly. So it looks like he's using... Oh, I missed it already. Call of Legends, Fanfi, which has sort of an exoskeleton-like property, although it doesn't really matter at this point, because he has the Elms and he will grab the Donphan Prime. And I unfortunately did not edit some of the slower parts out of this video. I'm actually recording in a different way, so hopefully my voice sounds a little bit better. But uh, he did get his Donphan Prime. I assume he's going to have the fighting energy in his hand, otherwise he probably would not have used the Elms. He would have used a Hand Refresher. And I await for him to drop the fighting. So again, I'm feeling pretty good about my position. <clears throat> I'll be able to two-shot this Don fan where he can only three-shot me. And uh, that's a pretty good exchange. <clears throat> so here I retreat into my other Tornadus. And again, this was quite a while ago. So I'm going to go ahead and play the Eviolite so he can only do 20 damage to me with Earthquake. Looks like I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to lay down that third Tornadus or not. Uh, looking at it now, I don't really see any reason not to, but it looks like I decide not to. So I guess what my thinking was, I want to make sure I have two fully charged up Tornadus and not get stuck not attacking. Although with Free Retreat and Sky Arrow, uh, it's just not going to be a problem. So... I should have probably laid it down. But anyway, we see bad Terrakion again. Now we see a Mindfu, which I'm not familiar with. Could be a decent tech in Lightning decks to go for a Donk. Has a colorless attack. And... At this point, he still has the prize lead, although I'm winning in the energy drops. Um, he does not have any type of energy acceleration. It does look like he's going to go ahead and power up the Terrakion and just leave Don Fan, which is correct. Interviewer's question. Probably should be replaced with Sealan. Uh, although interviewer questions can grab... <clears throat> special energy which is definitely helpful but I just don't find it all that reliable and in general using electric or typhlosion to manipulate energy from the discard rather than relying on a supporter and a single drop is is the way to go but fighting doesn't really have any energy acceleration and he goes ahead and gets stuck doing 20 to my tornadus and at this point, I gotta think I'm gonna drop down a Tornadus. Smeargle's done. He outlived his usefulness. He... And again, I'm not gonna lay down. I'm just gonna Hurricane for the knockout. So now I have four energy on my Tornadus, which is totally unnecessary. And definitely the wrong move. So we're tied at 2-2. Two, two. Both of us have just two Pokemon in play, but this has been a relatively fast game. He is going to put another Fighting onto his Terrakion. There we go, Boulder Crush and Sacred Sword. Now I have to think I'm going to lay down a Tornadus on this turn. And 
And he must be thinking, how is my Terrakion doing 80 damage a turn going to take out these Tornadus that are resistant? And on top of that, there's the Eviolite option. And Terrakion can only do the Sacred Sword once. After that, it can't use it the next turn and is forced to use Boulder Crush, which doesn't do nearly enough damage. So here I'm looking at my Shaman, looking at Revenge Blast. For some reason I wasn't sure if it was 30 times or 30 plus. Oh, come on, lay down the Tornadus. So at this point, I feel it's safe to lay down Celebi. And... Oh my gosh, I'm going to hurricane a third grass onto the other Tornadus. Why? I have no idea why. That would be... That's just bad. Terrible move. So, I have taken the prize lead, and again, I'm staring down a bad Terrakion. I see a Sock. Also, uh, <laughs> which... It's an interesting card, but uh, probably belongs in a theme deck and not a normal deck. Its move, I think, is called Five Fierce Chops. Flip five coins, do 20 damage time the number of heads, and you can't use that move the next turn. It has 100 HP, and I believe it's weak to Psychic, making it extra terrible. So, my opponent uses Twins and now has a decision to make. And I'm not sure what decision he's making, but uh, I cannot believe I have a Tornadus sitting on the bench with five energy on it. It would make much more sense to have a Tornadus with three and a second Tornadus with two. But for some reason, that is the decision that I had made a couple of weeks back. So he grabs his two cards and... We await to see if he plays one of them. Could have went for a hand refresh. Juniper could have... Uh... All right, so he's gonna Sacred Sword for what should be 60. Unless he catchers... Nope, so 60 to my active. And at this point, I think, yes, I finally retreat. And I hope I lay down a Tornadus. And finally, I lay down a Tornadus. It's about time. So now I'm going to hurricane that energy down onto that Tornadus. And I have him fresh to go. But I still have four on the active, which just does not make any sense. It's one of the first times I was playing it, so perhaps I just... I just wasn't thinking far enough ahead or thinking of the prize exchange and things like that. So here he's going to go ahead and drop down a Regigigas, which kind of stinks, if I'm honest, because the problem is going to be if I attack into it with a Tornadus, he can use Raging Hammer and get a knockout. And then I can hit him with another Tornadus and still not knock him out. It is going to take... It's a three-hit KO, and it's a problem that I'm... Not ready to deal with, at least not with Tornadus. Thankfully, I have a Shaman, and Shaman will be able to one-shot that Regigigas. So at this point, I'm just thinking, okay, I need to take one prize with Tornadus, and then I need to take my last two prizes with Shaman on the Regigigas, and that is how I'm going to win. So I go ahead and Hurricane. And I put it on my Tornadus that has no damage on it. And now all I need to do is set up his Regigigas for a Shaman. Now, I'm in good shape uh, as long as he doesn't play in. Um, I've got a second Celebi, so I can play both down along with... No, that's all I really need to do, so I should be in good shape now. So we'll see if he gets the... He's going to Raging Hammer, if he's going to 
I forget what the first move does, but I believe it does 60, which will be enough to take out my Tornadus. And he will, should, lower that price exchange down to 3-2. Uh, so he had the double, double colorless. I still assume he's going to Giga Power for 60. Although he could Raging Hammer and not put any damage on himself. I've got 60, so 50 would put me at 110. But I'm liking my board position at this point. Still don't understand the Sock or the Bad Trachyon. Um... But I guess sometimes you just gotta play with what you have, or he was trying something new. Uh, Terrakion with that uh, first move for 40, 2 energy, would pretty much knock out Tynamos, Oddishes, anything with 40 hit points or less, which isn't too bad. Although, the, and I guess the Sacred Sword would knock out a uh, Regigigas EX or a Zekrom EX. So, he goes ahead, he's going to have to select a prize. And I will promote my undamaged Tornadus. And at this point, I need a Celebi in play. If he knocks out my Celebi, my entire strategy is ruined. So I will have to lay it down too, just to assure that when he knocks out, Either of my Tornadus, I can promote a Celebi, drop a Shaman, Forest Breath, attach, free retreat, and knock out him. So I'll do 80, and he will be able to just go ahead and Raging Hammer for the knockout and lower even at the prize trade to 2-2. Two, two. So he'll be able to do 80, 50, 130. So at this point, unless he plays in, I have the game in the bag. So he's going to draw three and I am relieved that that is the supporter that he used instead of N. Although at this point he only has three prizes so he probably doesn't want to be down to a three card hand but I honestly there's nothing I can do about this Regigigas uh, if he drops me down to a two card hand. And I await don't believe he has seen my shaman. <clears throat> Actually, shaman should be quite good um, if Terrakion, the Terrakion deck, takes off. Because all that will need to happen is Terrakion take one prize, and then shaman and a plus power <clears throat> from there on out uh, will take out any Terrakion in one shot. So it may be Shaman EX's time to shine as that's the only decent grass attacker that actually fits in a deck. So um, he does his 130 and that's it. It's going to be game for me. <clears throat> I can take my last two prizes with Shaman EX once he selects his prize. So again, the only reason I'm showing this video, um, it's kind of interesting just to look back uh, at playing this game uh, with collectors instead of dual ball. And uh, I, I see the value in Shaman EX, even though <clears throat> I think it's underplayed. I think uh, it is a worthy addition to any Celebi Mewtwo deck because it can do such ridiculous amounts of damage and hit Terrakion for weakness. So I believe I'm going to go ahead and do 150 damage. Yep, should be 150. I'm reading it right now. Um, this is not a live recording, so I'm sure I was talking about it at the time. And I have the game, so I will go ahead and say good game. And um, on the next episode, episode 21, we will actually be seeing Alberto 1998 again. And we'll both be playing with entirely different decks. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.